Uh, just right down the street on D Street. Oh, okay. Yeah, really close, like a block, block and a half. Okay. I was yeah, going to... out afterwards, so I figured I'd take my own car. Yeah, yeah. totally. I was like, ah, uh, get a ride back to the house? No, that's not normal. <laughs> she is like, <laughs> <laughs>
Some people are <clears throat> saying no borders at all, and I'm like, well, no, we need borders. We just don't need to. Well, we don't need to enforce them the way that the Trump administration is currently enforcing them. I came down with it, now I miss it. No prisons at all? Well, no, that doesn't make sense either. At this juncture, it's pretty ridiculous for anyone to be jumping up and down saying that Trump isn't a racist. It's, it's silly at this point. It's pretty obvious. Particularly Trump and Sessions. Thank 
tree. So we're opening our program today. And by the way, my name is Renee. I represent Centro del Pueblo and the National Union of Healthcare Workers. We want sanctuary, justice for Josiah, down with the statue, justice for our families. Don't you dare dehumanize us. standing in solidarity with us as indigenous people, with the, with the migrant people that are suffering at the, the cruel and unusual tactics of the current administration. As Native people, we've, as Native people, we've seen this crisis once before. They've torn children, I mean, right across the water here, they, they massacred the Weah people. Let's, let's honor where we're at. This is the land of the, of the Weah people. So we as Native people are proud to stand in solidarity with the, with the immigrants that are being treated as we were once treated. So today we want to open with a blessing, with a song, to bless each and every one of you for coming out and standing in solidarity with your community. Thank you so much for being here. If you'd all join me, we'll do a, a short prayer. I know. Our next speaker 
representing Centro del Pueblo, a grassroots organization here in Humboldt County working with undocumented families. Please welcome Brenda Perez. Soy María Elena. Los narcos tomaron mi casa en Michoacán y antes de que tomaran a mis hijos, decidí cruzar la frontera. Estuvimos separados todo el invierno en centros de detención. Soy las mujeres que me han confiado el secreto de su deportación y el dolor inexplicable de separarse de sus familias. I am Maria Elena. The narcos took my house in Michoacán, and before they took my children, I decided to cross the border. We were separated all winter in detention centers. I am the woman who have entrusted me with the secrets of the deportation and the inexplicable pain of being separated from their families. My name is Brenda. I'm an immigrant from Mexico, and your support today is my most valuable identity document. In this moment, you represent my family and my friends, my beloved community, those who I cannot see because we are separated by the zero tolerance policy. Mi nombre es Brenda. Soy un inmigrante de México. Su apoyo hoy es mi documento de identidad más valioso. En este momento representas a mi familia, mis amigos, mi comunidad y a los que no puede ver, porque estamos separados por la política de cero tolerancia. In Wiotland, we honor the guidance of all tribes, Jupa, Yurok, Karuk, during this historic injustice of family separation. I came here to recognize in your presence the possibility of having a strong allies to protect our families. Because the crying of the children is our migrant cry. Quiero honorar a la tierra Wia, la resistencia histórica indígena contra la separación familiar. Wia, Jupa, Yura, Karuk, todas las tribus su y su presencia es nuestra guía. Vine aquí para reconocer su presencia, la posibilidad de tener aliados fuertes para proteger a nuestras familias, porque el llanto de los niños es, es mi grito migrante. Today I came to demonstrate that migrants are brave. We have such a great dignity that it crosses all boundaries. And despite our sadness, we want to stop fighting to reunite our families. Until the detention centers disappear. Until the presence of our children in front of a judge can be part of this infamous chapter in the history of the United States. Hoy vine a demostrar que los niños migrantes somos valientes. Tenemos una dignidad tan grande que traspasa todas las fronteras. Y a pesar de nuestra tristeza, no dejaremos de luchar para reunir a nuestras familias. Hasta que los centros de detención desaparezcan. Hasta que la presencia de nuestros niños frente a un juez sea parte de un capítulo infame en la historia de los Estados Unidos. Ice wants to detain us. Ice wants to deport us. Because with us came the possibility to embrace diversity, to strengthen community. But I see you now. And with you here, I believe that they won't be able to separate us from this community anymore. Yeah. Yes. ICE quiere detenernos, ICE quiere deportarnos, 
porque con nuestro sigo la posibilidad de abrazar la diversidad, de fortalecer la comunidad. Pero te veo ahora y empiezo a creer que no podrán separarnos de esta comunidad, porque empezamos juntos. Should something happen to me, I will continue to fight wherever am I. I will return in the spirit of my immigrant sisters who will come after me. We will continue to cross the border. That will not change because migration is part of human experience. But what can be changed? Now it's in your hands. Si algo me sucede, continuaré luchando. Regresaré en el espíritu de las hermanas migrantes que vendrán después de mí. Continu continuaremos cruzando la frontera. No, no, eso no cambiaría porque la inmigración es parte de la experiencia humana. Pero lo que puede cambiar está en sus manos. Dear allies, community, it's in your hands. We take courage and cross the border. Now it's your turn to open those cages and to take action to protect our children and help us to reunite our families because we belong together. Nosotras tomamos coraje y cruzamos la frontera. Ahora es su turno. Abracemos esas, abramos esas jaulas, tomemos medidas para proteger a nuestros niños, ayudamos a reunir a nuestras familias, porque estamos unidos. Today we are creating an alliance against the criminal racist policy of zero tolerance. This is the beginning of the end. If I try to separate us, tell your children and tell yourself that you did something, that you didn't stay silent, and that we all belong together. Hoy estamos creando una alianza contra la policía criminal y racista de tolerancia cero. Si hay se intenta separarnos, quitarle a sus hijos y a ustedes mismos que hizo algo, que no se quede en silencio, porque estamos unidos. Dear community friends, allies, the day is coming when you and I, we are going to say that we turn Humboldt into a sanctuary county. And we will continue advancing until there is no immigration police, no more detention centers to torture and isolate our immigrant community. Because in Humboldt, we will defend indigenous memory and diversity as our most precious values. Llegará el día en que usted y yo vamos a decidir que convertimos a Humble en un condado santuario. Y seguiremos avanzando hasta que no haya una policía de inmigración, ningún centro de detención, que no haya ni torturas, ni estrada de nuestra comunidad. No más racismos y balas separan a las familias de personas de color. Habrá justicia. Justicia para Josiah, porque en Humboldt defenderemos la memoria y la diversidad indígena como nuestros valores más preciosos. To the Humboldt authorities, the sanctuary is now. It's happening here. On behalf of this alliance we are creating today, we demand a statement in solidarity with our migrant families in the border, in those detention centers, in those cages. You authorities, send a statement on behalf of this community and also support of sanctuary locally. Oh. 
autoridades de Humboldt. El santuario es ahora. En nombre de esta alianza exigimos una declaración en solidaridad con nuestras familias migrantes en los centros de detención y apoyo al condado santuario. To my dear sister Maria Elena in Michoacan and to, my, to all my sister, all my immigrant sisters, all my migrant community, all the children, know that Humboldt County is marching today. But tomorrow, we will be fighting for you because families belong together and we will remain united with you. Yes. Queridos aliados, seguiremos unidos contigo. Gracias. So my question to you, um, of course we all know that we're here because we are, we want families together. Sabemos que estamos aquí porque queremos familias juntas. And we want to fight for that. And we're here to fight for that. But my question to you all here is why are you here? Aside from that, you don't have to answer this now, but you, uh, but look deep and ask yourself, why are you here? What does a world where our families can live free from fear of incarceration look like? What does a world where families belong together um, is a value we, we live into? And I believe all I want, we all want our families together. We want our, our human family together. Are you willing to endure the long fight that comes along with that? I do also want to point out that the reason I said that there, this isn't just about race and it's furthermore is because we know that our, our country, the United States, um, and this is a truth, it has divided families from the very beginning. It just takes on different names with each new wave of targeting. The word detention really means incarceration. Those seeking refuge of the southern border have been criminalized and our families are being denied safety. It is a tactic used by the government to diminish our morale and break us down. But today we stand here as a community to show that we are not falling over. We stand here and we will continue to fight. Thank you. Thank you. Families here in the U.S., mothers and fathers, we are devastated because one child deemed illegal means all our children are illegal. So I'm very proud to introduce our next speaker, representing Centro del Pueblo, a leader here in Humboldt County for the rights of undocumented families. Please welcome Paola Gonzalez. Greetings, Humboldt County. I am Paola Gonzalez. I am a woman. I am a mother. I am an immigrant. And I'm a warrior. Just like all of us, the ones who decide to come to this country. When I was eight, my mom, brother, and I, we emigrated from our country, Colombia, to Puerto Rico. That, as you know, is part of the United States, a colony, to be more precise. And there, in Puerto Rico, we went through the difficult process of legalizing our status. The process of having to go to interviews, lawyers, Getting tons of paperwork done for ICE was one of the most difficult and frightening moments of my life. 
the fear of getting deported, the fear of being separated from my mother, the fear of those things, the ICE agents. How does moving the amp help? Who held the power to destroy my life in their hands. It was terrifying. That was smart. I remember the last decisive interview that was held in the ICE building. My mother, my brother, and I all dressed up, smiling, trying to hide our fear and trying to please these ICE beings so that in their infinite power, they will allow us to stay in this country. We smile well, and they let us stay. After leaving the interview in the parking lot, I fell to my knees and broke into tears, and I cried, finally, finally, no more fear, no more humiliation, no more false smiles. Finally, I have that little piece of paper that says, I'm equal to you. That's what I thought in that moment. And now, standing here as a mother, I see that no, it was not the end. Nothing ended. With my child in my arms, I see how thousands of mothers, with countless sacrifice, effort, pain, and a little hope, arrive at the border, only to have their children ripped away and their families separated only to later be at the mercy of the ICE agents, of the laws of this country, and whatever is the politically convenient to the current government. When I see these mothers, I see my mother, I see my aunt, I see my sisters, I see myself. And I say enough, basta. The privilege I have of speaking here and say basta, enough, false smiles, enough fear, enough. And all of us here who have the privilege, that little piece of paper, we need to rise up strong and say basta. <laughs> because it's our responsibility. This is the moment to unite, organize, resist, occupy, and take direct action. It is the moment to realize that what's happening at the border is not happening only under this administration, but, it's, but the violence, the abuse, the humiliation, and the separation has been ha happening for many years, not just at the border, but throughout this country and throughout the history of this nation. This is systemic. It's not just a few people who currently are in power. We face that truth. We must rise up and denounce it. No more family separations, no more abuses, no more violence, no more borders, no more massacres, no more genocide. Not to immigrants, not to Native American, not to African American. Basta, it's enough. In this moment, with you all, I stand up and say, abolish ICE, justice for Josiah, Y que viva Puerto Rico libre, puñeta. Letters directed towards the Congress people and also the Humboldt County Board of Supervisors. We yeah. go back there. Uh, you can register to vote. You can sign your letters. Also, uh, bathrooms are available in the back to whoever needs them. And when we start the march, we're going to be following this banner, the Centro del Pueblo banner, which will lead us behind this stage and then to the right. Please be careful with the posts. We don't want anyone to bump into any of the poles or posts. And during the march, please try to stay together as much as possible so we look like the critical mass that we are. And most importantly, please be loud. Directly. 
Latinas, just follow the big uh, Centro del Pueblo sign. People in the yellow vests are the security crew. If you have any problems, please talk to them. Si tienen cualquier problema, hay un equipo de seguridad que tiene los chalecos amarillos. Por favor, hablen con las